Hello and welcome back to Bookish. Today I want to do a review of the library book by Susan Orlean. Uh, I got this book uh, for Christmas. It's a relatively new book. It's been on booktube quite a bit, but I was really excited to get it and read it and I wanted to share my thoughts about that book uh, with you as soon as possible. So, ostensibly this book tells the story of the 1986 fire at the Los Angeles Central Library. Uh, and then the aftermath of that fire and the investigation. So for you to read the top blurb at the back of the book, on the back of the book. This is from the publishers. It says, a dazzling love letter to a beloved institution and an investigation into one of its greatest mysteries from the best-selling author hailed as a national treasure by the Washington Post. So if you were to read that blurb, I think you would get the impression that this is a work of kind of uh, investigative journalism, uh, with kind of a true crime element that the book is going to focus a lot uh, on the fire itself and on the investigation and in reality it focuses a lot more on the dazzling love letter to a beloved institution part of that blurb and I, I've seen some people's reviews um, on other channels who liked the book and had nice things to say about it but were disappointed that it wasn't more about this kind of work of investigative journalism uh, and that there was all this other stuff in that and what they were interested in was kind of the true crime element and the uh, investigation into the suspect and the trial and you know the police work involved and I can see where you'd get the impression that that's what the book was going to be about from the uh, essentially the ad copy on the back the truth matter is the library book is a work of immersion journalism and this is really kind of what um, Susan Orlean does she becomes interested in a topic or a subject and she just becomes completely immersed in that. She spends years and day after day investigating every aspect of the subject that she can possibly think of uh, to kind of create this picture of this, oftentimes these kind of subworlds that exist within our world, whether it's orchid collectors and the orchid thief or here with librarians and library patrons. Um, in the library book that that's really what what she does um, so I think you know you need to go into the book knowing that's what it's about I'm not trying to debunk the ad copy but I do think that it, it's it can be disappointing to think you're reading a book about one thing and end up reading a book about something completely different so if you don't know Susan or Orlean is a well-known uh, writer of nonfiction she's a staff writer for the New Yorker and she has been for Wow, I think we're going on uh, three decades that she's been a staff writer for The New Yorker. Um, she's written seven other books. Our most famous other book was The Orchid Thief, which was made into a movie, which I think actually won an Oscar for Best Screenplay, not that she wrote the screenplay at all. And I think one of the, my favorite things about Susan Orlean is that, that in, the, in the movie The Orchid Thief, she's played by Meryl Streep. And the, the movie really takes liberties. Uh, with uh, her as a character, I think, and uh, with the plot uh, in creating a movie plot around this kind of work of immersion journalism that Susan Orlean created. I think Susan Orlean's work is best compared to the work of Joseph Mitchell, who was also a longtime staff writer uh, for The New Yorker and who wrote a long series of kind of, I think, um, proto-immersion journalism essays for The New Yorker in which we explored all kinds of weird corners and characters present in New York City uh, during the 1940s and, and 1950s and then developed you know the most famous case of writer's block probably in history where he after publishing his final essay which I believe was Joe Gould's Secret uh, he never published another work uh, in his life even though he went into his office at the New Yorker every day until he died, I believe, in 1996. Okay, so to me, the book is great in every way. Uh, it's very well written. Susan Orlean is an, is an excellent writer. Her prose is crisp, it's precise, it's emotive. Um, it, it's just, it moves you quickly from one place to the other. Her pacing is superb. I just think she is uh, a, an excellent writer, um, and therefore the book probably should be read, even if you weren't that interested in the subject, you could just read the book as an example, I think, in kind of good nonfiction, non-historical nonfiction uh, writing. But in addition to that, uh, the book itself is really beautiful. The book doesn't come with a dust jacket. It comes just with the uh, 
the title, the author's name, and this design embossed right on the cover. And if you, I don't know if you can see it, but if you feel the cover, it feels like that old library book cover uh, that you would find uh, on library books. You know, it's library books. Uh, either have a dust jacket wrapped in cellophane or there's that kind of quality to them. The inside flaps contain, you know, kind of the about the author and about the book in this kind of really uh, beautiful uh, typeface with the uh, ornate uh, lettering like in an illuminated text. Uh, my favorite thing is at the back of the book there is a picture of the old library card system, uh, you know, with the uh, manila pocket and the the card there with the date you checked it out or the date due date and where you wrote your name also I happen to know that that name Austin Gillespie I believe is Miss Orleans son's name so I thought that was kind of sweet there's a picture of her back here it's just a beautiful book in addition to that another thing I thought was really cool about the book is that every chapter heading and I don't know if you can see that or not but every chapter uh, intro heading lists uh, the titles of books and it lists them in a way they used to appear in the on the old card catalog cards um, and it's in that kind of typeface and it's set up that way but each one of the book titles kind of foreshadows something that's going to be discussed uh, in that chapter so you know it's just literally a beautiful book cleverly set up I think thought well thought out on almost every single page and it's just you know a, a, a great book um, in that sense. In the book, Orlean does way more than talk about the fire and the investigation. Uh, she does talk about the fire and she describes it in, in beautiful, horrifying, um, heartbreaking prose. She does talk about uh, the main suspect uh, and a description of him and his life and his background and his alibis and his stories and there are discussions of the investigation into him and whether or not the police thought he did it but there's just so much more than that it's a history of the uh, library system in Los Angeles the development of the central library it's a history of the construction of the library of the architecture of the library of the architect of the library it's a history of the main librarians of uh, throughout history of the um, of the central uh, library uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, it has, uh, it does a biography on the more colorful and more interesting um, librarians. It is a discussion of all the different things that libraries do and how they function, the challenges they face, uh, how libraries function in our society as a, as a way for government to interface with a lot of the people in American society who are largely unseen and forgotten. Uh, for instance, the homeless, that it provides all kinds of services, that it's one of the few public institutions that's open to everyone regardless of any kind of circumstance in a place, you know, where anyone can go. Um, and therefore, it, it, she talks about the libraries as a, an outreach center, as a way of connecting with these people and providing with services um, and with help. It's also... Um, a you know tribute to the importance of books and how special books are and how special uh, libraries are it is just just truly truly a great book and at the end of the book I have uh, a renewed respect for librarians and renewed understanding of why libraries are still relevant uh, in American society and I have a renewed interest in renewing my library card and spending more time at my local library so this to me is a great book um, um, and I would encourage anybody who has any interest in good writing in libraries um, in the work of Susan Orlean and just reading a good book to pick this book up. So anyway, if you read the library book, let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, thank you for watching.